Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to take a peek in on my urban worm bag. Seems like everybody off the lid there. Alright, so I have been pretty busy, and I occasionally have been coming in here to see what's going on and throwing some food in from time to time, but I have not been giving these guys the attention they deserve. So this is the African night crawlers in the urban worm bag. So let's let's have a look and see what's going on in here. It looks like they're making some progress on some corn cobs. I did throw an entire batch of um, bananas that had started to go bad last week. So let's let's see if the African night crawlers are going bananas. Okay, and as you can see, I just put it in. Oh, okay. Well, there's that. Uh, just put it in full. So looking at this, I don't see where they're in them yet. But now that I've broken the stems off, they totally will be. Well, that's split, so maybe somebody got in there. Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to put them back in and cover them up and take a look on the other side and see who's home. Seems to have a good handful of worms here. Uh, okay, I did when I picked it up. and They're fast. But as you can see, me kind of ignoring them and just throwing food in them, has, you know, in for them has not really, has not hurt them. They're still plugging along. This is the first time I've been in here to kind of really turn it over. I took a half, half day today. We're making some progress on the compostable bags here. Keep forgetting to take them out, so kind of an experiment by default, at least in the African Nightcrawler bag anyway. I did throw quite of the ones from downstairs out. So, yep, I think by the time I get done with the busy section or the busy schedule at work, in the next couple of months, this will definitely be ready for a huge harvest. There's not much going on in here. So I'm going to bury all the cardboard and all that business. And looks like they're making good work of the, the corn. I still see some of the husks in there. So just going to bury them a little bit, put some of the finished castings on top, give them a little bit more to eat, and then I'm going to call it a day for the African night crawlers. I'm going to do an all-in-one episode here, so I'm just going to continue on to the next bin. Be back in a second. Alright, so now we're back with my accidental worm bin. Didn't mean to start this one, but here we are anyway. This was the leftover muck that got very, very wet from the stacked DIY bin. And I shredded out, or I sifted out as much as I could, and then basically just... Um, added a bunch of shredded paper to it. So this wasn't one of my original bins, it just was one of those. There's quite a few of the castings that were so muck filled that I couldn't do anything with them. So I just left the worms in there and had started feeding it. So it is a little bit dry. Uh, 
uh, banana peels in here. These haven't been frozen or anything. Check the camera. There it is. So these haven't been frozen or anything. I just threw these in a couple days ago. Sorry, no interesting worm ball. Eggshells. Little apple peel. So yeah, this is this is my accidental worm bin, and I had been just feeding. Oh, there, there's there's all the worms. I've been feeding inside of these little empty. Wow, totally knocked my hamster off the wheel there. Nice uh, worm ball of blue worms there. I'm going to put them back into their little feeding frenzy there. Add some more of the banana. They seem to like being in their little bait station. Not really for any particular reason. I'm not baiting them out. And let's see, same thing with this one. I think when I was originally trying to get the worms out of here, I was baiting them out. And then, so I just accidentally started a worm bin and I've just left the bait cups in place. All right, so that's it for that uh, accidental worm bin. Bring you back in a second for the downstairs bins. All right, guys, this is what's left over of the DIY bin. Still got a ton of worms. I've been leaving all of the lids off so they can dry. Here's the bait container. I'm going to take that handful of worms and move it over to a different bin. Eventually I'll be able to harvest these. But it's finally drying out a little bit. Oh, forgot. I think this is my shirt. The Eat My Shirt shirt. It's weird. That thread looks almost like a leftover snakeskin. Weird. So... That's a little weird, but I think I think the Eat My Shirt shirt is, is almost gone. There's just a few little remnants of it left. I need to go on the other side and see if there's any more shirt left. Nope. It's not looking like it. Alright, let's I'm gonna do a real deep dive here and pull everything to one side and see. And I believe that is it. That's that's it for the eat my shirt shirt in the DIY bin. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything else except for that thread that was left over we found in the beginning. So that's it guys. That's that's all that's left of the DIY eat my shirt shirt. I've got the tag here which apparently was not all cotton and I don't know if the maybe the stitching but you can tell the there's nothing left except for the stitching and the tag at this point. I'm going to bury it back under and I guess we'll wait and see if that goes away at all ever. But I'm slowing down. I'm not going to feed this anymore. I'm just going to wait for it to finish up. I've got some new bedding on the bottom, so hopefully the worms will move down there and start eating that stuff and get out of the top here. All right.
Hang on, we'll be back for the next bin. Okay, now we're on to the lasagna bin. And I have been putting most of the worms from the DIY bin in the lasagna bin. So it is really, really full of worms. And I'm willing to bet this is going to need harvested super soon as well. High concentration of worms. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of lasagna or food anywhere. I'm just seeing castings and worms. Looks like they've really even eaten the layers of cardboard. I've got this egg carton that I'm going to bury up a little bit that was on top originally. I'm going to move that over and see if we can find any layers at all to the cardboard. So maybe, maybe a little piece, but for the most part, We've got small, small pieces of cardboard about the size of my hand, and it was all layers previously. Because the last time we did this, looked at this bin, we had remade it. Got a banana. Oop. <laughs> there was one hiding inside the banana stem. They are really getting down to it now, aren't they? So, yeah, they're getting into the avocado pit. Looks like most of the cardboard is gone except for a couple small pieces. See there's a mango pit. I feel it's squishy. Let's see if I can break it open. Well, I don't see any worms in there yet, but now that I've broke it open, it's definitely going to be... They'll make quick work of it. Okay, so still digging, seeing if I can find a layer of cardboard anywhere. Oh, finally. There we go. Found some cardboard. And some food. It's weird. It doesn't smell like anything. So yeah, doesn't have an anaerobic smell or, or anything. One of the uh, corn cobs. Still working on that. Another avocado. So yeah, I think, I think this one is... I'll bury the food that I find back underneath, but... We are going to have to harvest this whole thing and start the lasagna all over because it is, there's so many worms in here, the lasagna is not even lasting, you know, a couple of weeks, more corn. So we'll bury the, the food stuff left. I think they're enjoying the moisture. This is very, very wet. So I will put the lid that I've been keeping on it back on it. Alright, we'll move over to the next bin. Alright guys, this is the spice or herb bin. Let's see what we've got in here. You can see a stem. Okay, so, mmm, that smells nice. Looks like they haven't really gotten into it yet, but there's, there's quite a few worms all intertwined in with it. So I will just mix everything up here, make sure I've got enough air. Bury that back under again. But 
but yeah, that does really smell nice. It's got some basil in there and everything else. So I'm going to put the bubble wrap on. This one's a little bit dry. And we will switch over to the next bin. Alrighty. So now we've got one of the leftover bins that I haven't turned into anything in particular leftover from the big boy. I've just been feeding it the normal gruel. Nothing special, no experiment going on here yet. Just been feeding them. Let's see what we can find. If anything's interesting. Oh, here's some food that they got earlier this week. Yeah. Just some gruel. Coffee grounds. Leftover food. Bury that back up. These are just the compost mix. Nothing in particular. So we'll put their bubble wrap back on and we'll move on to the next. Alright, here is the 55 gallon drum bin that's laying on its side. Let's see what it's doing. The top layer does seem to be pretty dry even though I'm putting the bubble wrap on it but we'll see what they're doing. I buried some food in here, got an apple, haven't really got into it yet, some orange peels, lots of coffee grounds. So this is kind of wet so I might just spray this down a little bit. I think it's dry enough that it might be impeding them eating their food. I'll do that off camera, but I'm going to bury their food a little bit deeper since this is a really shallow, really shallow bin. I don't really want to encourage any creatures to come in here because it was really easy access. And go over to my Titan bins here. I think this is the Titan bin or this is the leftover bin. I'm not starting to lose what I'm doing here a little bit. So a lot of immature worms in the food. Probably too immature for me to tell what they are. But I will bury them back up. Do have a, a good sized guy here. He's not a Titan though. Okie okay, dokie. Move over to the next one. Started this with my leftover coconut coir from seed starting this year. So relatively new bin. There's what's left of a, a tomato. Yep, short on time. So things are just getting uh, thrown in as is this right about now. There's no uh, blending or freezing going on so much. No time right now. Look and see what paper, oh, coffee grounds, coffee filters. I think this is one of my grow up bins from the Titans. I think I put the baby worms in here. So we'll just bury everything back under, let them keep at it. Get, get under there. Okay. Make sure there's no worms on my hands here before I move on. Okay. This is the Titan bin that I cleaned out the. Oops. Oh, oh, okay then. 
a little sassy this morning. For a while there, everything was mucky wet, and now it's starting to dry up again. That's what's left over for a tomato. But we still have some good sized worms. Mm, there's some gruel they haven't gotten into yet. Gonna have to reinstitute the, the bubble wrap. Uh oh. Well, they're locked up. Sorry, guys. Cover you back up. Now we're going to move the little wrapper up there. Here's my next grow up bin. I don't know, are crickets bad for worms? Mm, I don't like them. I don't know about the worms. Probably competing for the worm food. Here's more of the DI or the uh, Eat My Shirt shirt. It's the other half. Like that in the corner and see what all we find. Alright. Just a tiny little bit. That was a whole tank top when I put it in. I put half the tank top in one bin and the other half in the other bin. There's a little bit more. So that's still has a little bit more left over than the other one. I suspect the other bin is wetter and that's why it's being gone through a little bit faster. And this bin is getting a little dry. So cover all that back up again. Have to break out the bubble wrap. Alright. Here's another one of my grow out bins from, or well, I guess it's just, uh, okay, we got an avocado tree growing here. Never mind the toothpicks and the uh, water and the shot glass, just stick them in your worm compost bin. So not a lot going on in there, I just wanted to make sure everybody had their own room after having been in the big boy, I wanted to make sure everybody had enough room to grow. So, not a super exciting, there were some worm balls, there's some interesting things happening. We'll go over here where there's some good light. But uh, that's it for an update for me, it's what I got time for at the moment. Uh, but uh, everybody, give me a muddy thumbs up, click subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when I'm back to giving regular updates. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.